Have you ever opened your family tree maker tree after a sink? Only to find that some of your carefully added photos or documents are just gone. You're not alone. It's one of the most frustrating and unfortunately one of the most common issues family tree maker users face. And today we're going to talk about why your media might be disappearing after a sync. How the software actually handles your files. And most importantly, how to fix it and make sure it doesn't happen again. So if your media feels like it's vanishing into thin air, don't worry, we're about to break it all down. When you link your family tree maker tree to ancestry, you're syncing more than just names and facts. You're exchanging sources, custom facts, notes, and yes, your media files too. But here's the thing. Media files aren't just data inside the tree file. They're saved separately on your computer in a folder called media. And syncing them means uploading and downloading real files between your computer and Ancestry servers. For example, if you attach a scanned photo of your grandmother, that image lives in your media folder, not inside your .fem file. If that file is moved, renamed, or interrupted during sync, FTM can't find it later. And that's when you see broken thumbnails or missing image icons. Let's walk through some of the biggest causes of missing media in Family Tree Maker. Number one, you moved your tree without backing it up properly. If you forget the media folder when moving your .ftm file, your tree opens, but the media is gone. Number two, your sync was interrupted. If your computer goes to sleep mid-sync or you lose your internet connection, some files may not finish uploading. Number three, you restored a backup without relinking your media. If the paths don't match, FTM won't know where to find your images. Number four, you're using one media folder across multiple trees. This often breaks file references and causes confusion. Number five, you added files directly on Ancestry.com. FTM doesn't always pull those back down cleanly, especially PDFs or renamed files. And number six, software glitches or delayed media uploads. Even when the sync says it's done, media files can sometimes be stuck in upload limbo. Let's dig deeper into how Family Tree Maker actually syncs your tree. The sync process happens in three steps. Step one, FTM compares your data. Names, relationships, sources. Step two, it checks which media files have changed. And step three, it uploads or downloads those media files between your computer and Ancestry. If any step breaks, your media might not sync correctly. Let's say you add 50 photos, then click sync and shut your laptop. FTM may say the sync is complete, but if those files didn't finish uploading, your other computer won't have them. Another common issue, you open your synced tree on another computer, but forgot to transfer the media folder. Now your tree opens, but the files are missing. This isn't user error, it's just how FTM works behind the scenes. Understanding the sync engine is key to protecting your media. Here's how to prevent media issues before they start. Number one, always use full backups. Go to File, Backup, and check Media Files. When restoring, use File, Restore. That keeps everything, tree, settings, and media together. Number two, sync only when your connection is stable. Don't sync on hotel Wi-Fi or right before shutting your laptop. 
Make sure your internet is strong and stay with your device during sync. Number three, compact your file weekly. Use tools compact file to keep your database healthy. Number four, add media directly in Family Tree Maker. Don't rely on uploads made only on Ancestry.com. FTM tracks files better when added internally. Number five, stay organized. Keep your media in FTM's default folders. Avoid renaming or moving files manually outside the program. Number six, use the Find Missing Media tool. This scans your tree and helps you reeling broken items. And number seven, backup often and store a copy off-site. Use a cloud service or external drive. Make backups part of your weekly research routine. And finally, avoid syncing massive changes all at once. FTM handles small, frequent updates much better than large batch edits. So there you have it. That's why media goes missing in Family Tree Maker. Now you know how to fix it, and more importantly, how to stop it from happening again. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share it with your genealogy friends. Got a question or want us to cover a specific Family Tree Maker issue? Drop it in the comments, we're here to help. Thanks for watching and happy ancestor hunting. Thank you.